Hello guys and welcome to yet another Geiger counter review. Today I have here NetIO Devices Japan GC10 aka Kinoko Geiger counter. It comes with SBM20 Geiger Miller tube which can detect beta and gamma radiation. Also it comes with this battery pack, battery is not included. It uses two standard AA batteries and there's attached 5 volt converter. This Geiger counter is designed for modding, so you can replace the tube for whichever you want. Uh, you can set up uh, the voltage uh, via computer and USB port uh, and use any kind of Geiger Miller tube which uh, operates within ranges up to 800 volts. There are two power ports here. This one is used for straight 5 volts uh, delivered by the converter on the batteries or uh, you can use uh, any power source that has up to 12 volts from a car battery or 9 volt battery. Under the display there's a connector that can be used for PC connection and setting up the Geiger counter and connection to the iPhone. Uh, there's an iPhone app that can count CPM and store it. You can check it out, I will post the link below. Beside the display there are two buttons. This one's for reset and this one's for mute. Seems really simple, so let's boot it up. First I'm going to connect the 5 volt input and there's a switch on the battery pack which you can use to power up the Geiger counter. There is a LED here and a buzzer. Uh, you can switch between two sound modes. There is also a third sound mode which could be set via the computer port uh, to change the click sounds to beeps or vice versa. Just power down the device, press the reset button and hold it and enable the device and after that it will change to beeps instead of clicks and vice versa. Let's bring in some radioactive material. I have here uh, uranium glazed pottery, my test sample and you can see the SBM20 is really sensitive, it's picking it up. Using fresh two AA batteries, this Geiger counter can run up to anywhere between 10 and 20 hours. It's not a lot, but it's enough. This Geiger counter is very good for modding. Uh, you can set up your own voltage, change the Geiger Miller tube and put it in any kind of case you wish. And this is my attempt to mod this Geiger counter. Uh, it looks a bit bulky, but it fits in hand really nicely uh, and has extended features like disabling uh, the illumination of the display, which will save up to 80% of the battery life, and ability to add headphones and external Geiger Miller tubes, uh, probably alpha or any kind of gamma or beta tube you wish. There's also a, a data port for charging the internal battery and a communication with computer, like changing the voltage of the t for the tube and sending data uh, to the computer about the radiation. This Geiger counter is worth the money. It has a lot of features and has a lot of potential for modding. You can also replace the firmware if you are a programmer. Uh, the firmware is located on the product's website. I will leave all the links down below for purchase, also for a forum where you can ask questions about it. And that concludes my review. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And that's about it. And see you next time.